Hi everyone, this is Ruputani from PhoneArena.com and we're reporting live from IFA over here in Berlin. We're going hands-on with the HTC Desire 500. Now this handset was announced some time back, but we're yet to see this in India and it's a very interesting handset as such. It runs Android 4.2.2 and it's powered by a 1.2 GHz Snapdragon 200 processor paired with 1 GB of RAM and there's 4 GB of storage built in. Despite having a slightly slower processor, the interface is extremely lag-free, it's very smooth. This is Android 4.2.2 as we said earlier and it's running HTC Sense 5 UI on top and it also gets blink feed. So now the design as such as you can see, it has a 4.3 inch WVGA display. Below it you've got the capacitive buttons, uh, these buttons do, are not backlit. The rest of the controls are on the screen itself. You've got a speaker grill on top. The phone has a dual color finish. This is all plastic, but uh, as you can see, it's white and blue in this model. And it feels very good. The quality of plastics used is very high. Over at the back, we've got an 8 megapixel camera with an f2.0 sensor. There's a single LED flash below it. And there's another speaker grill over here. So while the HTC One Mini or the HTC One do not support a micro SD card slot, this one does come with a micro SD card slot and you can expand storage by up to 64 gigabytes. And you'll need that to augment the built-in 4 gigabytes of storage. The battery capacity is 1800 mAh, which should be just about sufficient to last through a day. So there you go, that's the HTC Desire 500 for you. If you have any questions about the device, let us know in the comments section. Please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.